have one request. What? Can you move that trash bag? Which one? Honey, 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 honey. All right, guys, in the bus right now, I just kind of want to give a um, an overview of kind of what we're going to do to raise the roof on this. So we're at the front. Here's the driver's steering wheel and all this. So I've ripped out all this area. I'm leaving most of the metal in the ceiling because I want this to kind of be a structural support when we lift this up and there's some, you know, it's offset because one side's higher than another. I want there to be some support there. So I'm going to leave those in until we've done the raise. But I kind of wanted to show you guys, for those of you who are looking to do a project like this, um, kind of how I'm foresee how I'm envisioning this here. I think it's going to be almost impossible to raise this portion up. There's a couple reasons for that. I was thinking about doing it that way, but my mirrors are connected to this section. They're actually bolted in right here. And so if I lift, if I lift this up, it's going to raise the mirrors with it. So then I'd be repositioning the mirrors and having to, you know, do it and giving it structure and stuff. I just don't know if I want to mess with doing that. We want to do a, at least a foot raise. I don't want to do one of these huge, tall buses. I just, I don't, we don't have a need for it. I want it to look decent from the outside. I don't want to look like this huge, tall, tower driving down the road. This part here is fiberglass. So I want to kind of leave that alone. So what I'm thinking about doing is from this point forward, this would, this will rise. And when it gets to this point here, this will be at our foot height. I thought it would be colder out. The weather has drastically changed here. From summer to... From summer to very nice fall sort of weather in most normal places. Normal? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Northern? Northern and normal. Okay, and then let's look at the back, what we're going to do. I've got a bunch of screws that are screwed in from the back. Thank thankfully, they're not rivets. Screws all along in the back. I'm going to unscrew all of those. And then we're going to have to cut this probably here and then the same on that side over there there we go riveted in there as well or it's spot welded spot welded so what do I do do I cut through just all of it and just lift it up and worry about it later well I've got to I've got to get behind that though don't I, I have to put the support in there the dilemmas of a bus conversion sometimes I feel like doing a bus conversion is like painting a picture. It's like a canvas, a blank canvas that only needs your imagination. Hmm. What you could use that for? Honey, 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 honey. I'd say that that one's done. All right, we have to take off the door. There we go. Although we considered keeping the original bus door mainly because it was kind of cool that it was uh, it was air, you know, switch air open and close. It still does not offer a secure bus because. I sleep at night. Yeah, someone could force the door open and you, there's no real way to lock it. It's a lot harder to get in and out of it when you're 
you know, going into the store or something, you want to lock it. It's just, we're just going to put a regular RV door in here. We just want to cut it here. ready to start cutting the support beams in the bus see that metal got that broke loose I've got I think one rivet over here I have to cut loose or two and then one or two over here that has to be cut loose and then we can just cut all these support beams all the way down I have broke this piece loose here and the same piece on the other side right here and then I'll have to cut this here and then cut that there. But before I can go cutting these rails, I've gotta have a way of keeping this roof from sliding that way and falling over, or sliding that way and falling over. So I've developed an idea for that. Some people think and believe that raising the roof on a bus is quite easy. You just take off the windows, go around to the welding points, cut the... Uh, the metal and raise the roof but that's not entirely true you got to figure out what parts you want cut so that you can raise it properly and um yeah that has been quite difficult so there's been a lot of thinking today um and then cutting and shane's done some cutting some more cutting 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 again trying to cut spots where it doesn't want to be cut all the way through and um, once again cutting some more but the kids are having fun we didn't want the kids to be um, in the bus while Shane was cutting so one of the neighborhood kids boy with the ball right now he has come over and they're playing football so all right so this side is cut loose 